New information tonight in a Mesa crash involving a garbage truck and a light rail train. We're now learning the light rail operator ran a red light before the crash near Dobson in Maine. ABC 15's Fort Hatchet learning more about how something like this could happen. Everyone's standing outside just I'm like, what's going on? A Valley Metro driver taken to the hospital with injuries Wednesday after Mesa police say the light rail train ran its version of a red light and collided with a garbage truck. So we took a look into how the light rail operates. Each car has an operator in the front with a control to handle acceleration and braking, communicating with the Valley Metro Operations Center in Phoenix. Lacey Barda's boutique is on the corner, steps from where the crash happened near Robeson in Maine. I didn't really know. I I actually thought that it was electronic and there was just someone there sitting in the seat, um, kind of just like a, a autonomous car. Each city's stoplights are programmed to prioritize the light rail. We spoke with a Mesa City engineer about how the lights are timed. When a light rail vehicle is approaching an intersection, we can get that inter we can get that vehicle through if it's uh, if it's within a window of opportunity. But if the train takes too long or a pedestrian is crossing, now this window of opportunity can close, and, and that would mean that we have uh, conflicting movements at an intersection. We could have a pedestrian crossing or another vehicle crossing, and that the light rail vehicle would have to abide by the light rail indication. In those cases, the light rail operators aren't paying attention to traditional stoplights, but instead, light rail operations are controlled by that special indication, which is the vertical bar and the horizontal bar. As with all indications at an intersection, it's responsible for the operators to abide by it. That includes pedestrians, uh, vehicle drivers, and light rail operators. In fiscal year 2023, the light rail had 49 collisions around the Phoenix area, according to a Valley Metro report. A little less than a collision every week. And knowing the entire rail car is being controlled by one human driver, it's unsettling for some like new mom Lacey. It's really scary because, I, I mean, I take, I take that turn every single day. Um, and to know something so powerful can just go, it's kind of scary. We reached out to Valley Metro for an on-camera interview for this story, but they declined our request. In Mesa, Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona.